I am in charge of the cask program here, which means I make like one-off beers that can translate into bottle production beers. One of my fondest memories here is uh, at uh, Big Ridge, there's an annual cask festival, and uh, my cask won a big uh, gold medal prize. You win this like big wrestling belt. It's like pretty awesome. The beer that I put was a White Rabbit dry hopped with Citra. White Rabbit uh, is a uh, hoppy Hefeweizen. It's kind of a unique style. Most Hefeweizens are pretty low on the uh, hops, but we paired it with uh, Citra hops, which are like high in citrus flavors, grapefruit, pineapple. And uh, so that pairs really well with the yeast, which has like a kind of a banana clovey flavor. And uh, yeah, it's like a solid summer beer. And with the cask, we just uh, put normal white rabbit in a cask and re-fermented it with uh, citra hops, like a lot more than what's normally in there. And uh, yeah, it was really good. <laughs> Russell is not a big brewery. Uh, there's two of us here making beer today, uh, and that's very typical. We also have uh, a packaging staff, which is five people who are working right now. It's quite a small operation, uh, a very tightly knit family. Russell's been around for 20 years. There wasn't really anyone doing the same kind of the same kind of thing. Russell is really a true original BC brewery. And it's hard to say, but really Russell Cream Ale might not have invented that style of beer, but it really was the most popular. It was the one that uh, got recognition for for that style of dark cream ale that really only exists in BC. Back when I was first getting into beer drinking, Russell Cream Ale, finding it um, on tap at a restaurant or a bar that you're going to was, was a big deal. Um, getting a job here um, and starting to make Russell Cream Ale was, was a really cool thing for me. I'm a craft beer lover, and uh, I would have to admit that um, you know when I was younger, of course 18, uh, you know, um, a lot of the beers that I did drink were lagers and pilsners. So, um, and even the beers that I was home brewing at the time. Um, so, I've enjoyed, you know, um, the new experiences that I've had. And today, what I really enjoy is uh, sharing those new experiences with people who haven't, you know, tried newer craft beers, uh, bigger flavored beers, that kind of thing. Um, and so, taking them to some of my old friends at barbecues and stuff and watching their idea of, um, of what a beer can be change is, uh, is very nice. It's fun. And it's something that they promised would never happen. And uh, I've been getting it to happen time and time again. So it's been, uh, it's been a nice feeling. Right now, my, my favorite Russell beer, I'm just, you know, I've, 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 I've been favorite on the Blood Alley Bitter for some time and White Rabbit. But right now, my favorite is uh, Eastern Promises Pilsner, True Czech Pilsner. The whole beer is built around integrity. Uh, that's kind of where the name Eastern Promises comes from. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, very proud of that and, and happy to be drinking it on a, on a weekly, sometimes daily basis. And one of my favorite beers is uh, Punch Bowl, uh, which has a very fruity taste. And uh, uh, I like about it is it's very, it has a lot of flavors and uh, it's an American style IPA. And uh, it has one, it has one of the uh, Canadian Gold Awards. We won a Gold Award with the, at the Canadian Awards. We've got a lot of great reviews. There's one gentleman, uh, Harrison Stoker from uh, Whistler, now in Vancouver, actually wrote us a, a comment that he would bathe in our double IPA if he had the chance. He liked it so much. So that was the, one of the best compliments I've ever read of one of our beers. My favorite beer is the Russell Mirzen. We uh, brew it in the fall for Oktoberfest. It's a German-style dark lager, and uh, just a perfect touch of flavor and a delicious lager. The tradition of a Marzen uh, is it's called March in German. It originally went into the caves, so it would uh, ferment and brew throughout the summer in the cool caves, and it was always ready around harvest time, which is when Oktoberfest happens. Cheers.